Okay, first two centers. I guess I do green first, because there's already this and this, this and also this. So uh, I'd move this here and then I'd add this um, plus center in like this. And then I can add this one in and add this one to make a two by three block. Uh, now for the other line, it's just this. Um, I'm going to make a 1x3 bar with this and this. Uh, this and this. Um, so I s now for the partial cross I see blue and white so I see the other edge that belongs to this group so and I'm going to move it in place, and then I'm going to start doing blue and red. Uh, see, uh, now yellow and blue. Mm, yeah. Now for the other cross piece. Now move this to the right side, and then you make a, you make, um, well I like to make this center which corresponds to this color, so orange. And then I add the, then I add the cross piece to this line here. And now I finish making the orange center. Now I can add this in, and then I don't have to worry about it until after I finish solving other centers. Remember to keep, uh, remember to keep preserving this block here. That's important. Um, as soon as I, um, as soon as I made this block, I could see that I could add this into here to make a two by three block. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna move this down and then do that instead. Now, now you can add in the last cross piece. And I can start doing the edges. So we're going to make four treasures. Two of them need to be FTL pairs. Um, this and these two. Uh, yellow, red, yellow, red. Oh, here's a trick which I'm not sure people are aware of. If I see this, I, and I've got this, you could insert in like this, then slice, flip, slice back. But, um, sorry. but you could also just do this instead, which is a bit more finger tricky. So you, and then you move these two together, flip this, and then bring the edge with the, with the other two. Uh, red and white. Uh, now I've made four, so I'm just going to bring this to the top and then restore centers. Now I'm going to do two pairs, so see these two. And this one. And now for the last four, which is can be a bit tricky. Um, I see these two, so I'm going to move this here in here, and I'm going to cycle three edges around so that I can solve a semi pair, and I can also also solve these. So now I bring this in here. Now that's all. Um, now I'm going to. I'm go, I I've worked. I already have. I think I've got parity, but I'm going to bring this here, move this to the side, and then solve the red one. And now I've got uh, these two left. Uh, 
No finish reduction. I'd start with the green center. I see this and this, so I'd make the one by three bar first. And then I see this and these two. So I move that here to make a T and then add these two in and then add this bar in last. See the, the, these two and this one. So I'm going to make a 2 by 2 square, these two, uh, see um, this one, this piece and this piece and this piece, and as I did that I see the this one and this one. Oh, and this one. These two, and this one. And now for the last cross piece. Here and here. Move to the side. Now make a one by three bar. Um, or just start building yellow center. Now I can add this onto here, and then I can forget about it, pretty much. And then, and then I can solve the. You know, I can add this to the partial cross later when I finish the centers. See these two, so I'm going to make a one by three one like this. Um, see these three and this one, so. And then, then as I move this down, I'm going to make a square of these two. Um, then I'm going to add this here. Then solve the last uh, line of the yellow uh, of the white center. And then uh, now. Uh, edges, I see these two, so I'm gonna flip this and add it onto here. And at the same time, I'll, I guess I try to look for the yellow and red wing uh, edges, so here and this one as well. Last one, I'm going to do white and orange. Now I'm going to move this to the top and just restore the centers. Now I'm going to do two F2L pairs. Uh, two F2L I already see these two. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to do the last four treasures now. I already see this semi pair, so I'm going to solve that. Um, I see these two, they match, they go together, so if I solve this one first and then add in the uh, other blue and red wing, I could immediately do this afterwards, and then flip this, then restore centers and this is solved. Now I've only got two edges left, uh, sorry, I've got two treasures left, so I'm going to do an algorithm to solve these four. And I've finished reduction. Okay, first two centers. See this line, these two, so probably I'm going to do orange. And just before I move this one in, uh, 
actually never mind i'm going to just move in and then i see these two so i'm going to join them up like this and then get them ready so that i can just add in the last uh, add in the other guy uh the other piece and join them up and then finish the orange center uh see this i'm going to add one of these two in here like this um see these two and see this so these two and this one um now now i'm going to do red cross so this one this one this one oh Uh, these two, blue and red. Um, white and red. Now I've finished the partial cross. Now I need to do the last cross piece. So here, here and here. Now I'm going to start building the yellow center because this it, this one's just this piece is yellow. So and before doing this, um, I don't want to break this, so I'm going to I'm going to add this to this block, and now I don't need to worry about it until I finish the centers. So these three. Um, uh, I guess I'll do this and this, and now these two here. Okay. Now I'm going to move this to the uh, move this to the side. Uh, now these three. Um, I now I'm going to move this to the side and start doing the white center. These three. across the sword. Now I need to do I'm going to do the next four edges, so this and this. Oh these two and this one. This this and this these two and this one. Now restore centers. Um do, now I'm going to do two f throw pairs. Um, I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to solve these three by doing this. And then in prime e2m. Um, now I'm going to do these three. So and now for the last two, um, got double parity it seems. And now uh, three references. Two sensors. See this, this, and this. I see this line. I'm gonna to try to preserve it, and also see these two. I'm going to make a T, so like like this, with these four pieces. So and then I'm going to add this in here, and then move this up to solve the blue sensor. Um. I see these two in this one, so I'm going to make a 1 by 3 on top. Uh, these two. I'm going to move this here, and then these two, these three. Now for the cross, uh, 
Roxy red and green. Um, here. Yellow and green. Uh, orange and green. Now for the last cross piece, so green and white. I'm going to move this. Uh, so I'm going to move this to the side and then make a one by three for green. Sorry, for white. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to solve a two by three for white. Then I'm going to add this in. Um, now for the last one by three for white. Um, I'm going to make a square with these two. Uh, before I finish the orange sensor, I see this line and this line for yellow. So I'm going to uh, solve it and just uh, preserve it as I finish the orange block. So these two. Here. Instead of going down like that, I, I know that I can cancel into this, and then solve cross, now for the, now for the next four edges, so white orange, uh, now, and then before you do the other one, I, I already see this and this, so I, immediately after I solve these three, it's going to be red and white. Red and yellow. Uh, yellow and orange. I've solved all of the. Uh, I've solved all of the F2L treasures this time, so I've got more choice for which pairs I want to do. So I'm still I'm going to do red and yellow. Now for the last four. Uh it's not a great case, but I can I can do this and flip this so that I have this and these two. I can move this in here, so I can join. I can create the red and blue edge. Um, move this in here. Restore centers. Now I've just got a easy free cycle there. Now um, F2L. Uh, 